Avoid these eight plant-based foods that can destroy your kidneys. Experts often talk about the benefits of a plant-based diet for easing the load on your kidneys. However, just because a food comes from a plant doesn't mean it's always safe for your kidneys, especially if you have kidney disease. Some plant-based foods can actually be harmful. Reducing or cutting them from your diet can bring long-term benefits. Watch this video to discover which eight plant-based foods you should avoid to protect your kidneys. Before we begin, please remember that all the information in this video is created by real people, thoroughly checked for accuracy, and reviewed by qualified professionals. 8. Seed Oils Seed oils are cooking oils made from seeds. Examples include rice bran, canola, corn, cotton seed, grape seed, soybean, sunflower, safflower, and peanut oils. These oils are popular because they contain healthy fatty acids and special compounds. However, these oils go through a lot of processing. This process includes bleaching, refining, and heating to make them ready for cooking. Refining can remove important nutrients, like antioxidants, and sometimes create harmful substances. One harmful substance is trans fatty acids, which are bad for your kidneys and health. Seed oils can also cause inflammation in your body because they have a lot of omega-6 fatty acids. Inflammation can lead to many health issues, such as kidney disease, arthritis, heart disease, and diabetes. While your body needs some omega-6 fatty acids, too much, common in Western diets, can be harmful. It can throw off the balance between omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids, leading to problems like kidney damage. Fats are divided into two main types saturated and unsaturated. Unsaturated fats, found in oils like olive oil, are healthier. They can improve cholesterol levels and heart health. Saturated fats, found in animal products and some plants like coconut, should be eaten in moderation. Replacing saturated fats with unsaturated ones can reduce the harm from seed oils. Choose unrefined oils like extra virgin olive oil. These unrefined oils keep more natural nutrients, flavor, and aroma because they are made without high heat or chemicals. Unrefined oils are tastier, healthier, and more natural. They do not have harmful additives and keep their nutrients, which supports overall health, including good kidney function. 7. Canned Vegetables or Canned Soups Canned soups and vegetables are popular choices because they are affordable and convenient. However, these foods often contain high levels of sodium, which helps to preserve them. This high sodium content can be particularly harmful to individuals suffering from kidney disease. When kidneys are not functioning properly, they struggle to filter out excess sodium from the bloodstream. This leads to a dangerous buildup of sodium in the body, which can raise blood pressure and impose extra stress on the kidneys. It's also important to note that many canned foods have added sugars or chemical preservatives. For this reason, People with kidney disease should aim to avoid or limit their intake of canned foods, including canned vegetables. Instead, they should seek out fresh or low-sodium options. If you're enjoying our video so far, please drop a like. Your support helps us create more content like this. 6. Chips and Pretzels Baked chips are often seen as healthier than fried chips, but they can still harm your kidneys. They are highly processed and low in fat which makes it easy to eat too many without feeling full. Pretzels, which are also processed baked bread snacks, can increase your blood sugar levels and encourage your body to store fat. Over time, these effects can damage your kidneys. Both potato chips and pretzels lack important nutrients like fiber and protein. Eating them can lead to weight gain and obesity, which may harm your kidneys over time. Even worse, these snacks are often high in sodium. High sodium intake can make your body retain fluid and raise your blood pressure, putting extra strain on your kidneys. This can worsen existing kidney damage and raise the risk of heart problems like heart attacks and strokes. To support your kidney health, try to eat these snacks in moderation and choose healthier options instead. 5. Ketchup Ketchup is made from tomatoes, which have a lot of potassium. Too much potassium can be a problem for people with bad kidney function. Ketchup also has a lot of added sugar and salt, which can raise blood pressure and put stress on the kidneys. One spoonful, 17 grams of ketchup, has 180 milligrams of salt and 4 grams, 1 teaspoon of sugar. It's best to pick ketchup that is low in sugar and salt and avoid those with high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup 
can cause weight gain and make it harder for the body to use insulin, which can hurt kidney function. Ketchup also contains a lot of phosphorus. Too much phosphorus is bad for people with kidney problems because damaged kidneys cannot filter it out properly. Other store-bought sauces and dressings can also be harmful for similar reasons. This includes salad dressing, barbecue sauce, and soy sauce, as they often have high amounts of salt, sugar, or chemicals. Instead of using these condiments on your favorite foods, try using salsa. Choose fresh salsa without added salt from the store or make your own at home. 4. Instant Noodles Instant noodles are noodles that are already cooked, dried, and ready to eat quickly. People all around the world love them because they are easy to prepare, last a long time, come in many flavors, and don't cost much. However, instant noodles are often seen as unhealthy. They have a lot of salt, carbohydrates, and unhealthy fats. They also lack important nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals. In 2017, a study from Nutrition Research and Practice looked at 3,397 college students in Seoul who were between 18 and 29 years old. The study wanted to see how eating instant noodles affects heart and overall health. The researchers found that students who often ate instant noodles had higher levels of bad fats and sugars in their blood and higher blood pressure. These problems can lead to serious health issues, including kidney damage. Instant noodles are a good example of ultra-processed foods, UPS. UPS are loaded with calories, refined carbs, sugar, salt, chemical additives, and trans fats, but have very low amounts of dietary fiber and essential nutrients. Eating many UPS can harm kidney function due to these unhealthy ingredients. A 2022 study published in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases looked at data from the Atherosclerosis Risk in Communities Study, which is a big research project in the United States. This study included 14,000 679 middle-aged adults who did not have kidney disease at the start. The researchers found that each extra serving of ultra-processed foods, UPS, like canned soup, increased the risk of chronic kidney disease, CKD, by 5%. This means that eating more canned soup and other UPS could harm your kidneys. Another study in Korea discovered that people who ate the most UPS had a higher chance of having CKD. Specifically, every 6.6% increase in UPF consumption was connected to a 6% higher chance of CKD. This might be because of harmful ingredients in UPFs, like hydrogenated oils and chemical additives. These ingredients can cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Eating instant noodles often can also hurt your kidneys because they have high phosphorus content. High levels of phosphorus in the blood are linked to higher death rates and more heart problems. There are efforts to find healthier options. For example, in Malaysia, researchers are looking into using composite flours, which mix locally available ingredients like seaweed powder, to make instant noodles healthier and reduce the need for imported wheat flour. 3. Frozen meals Prepackaged vegan or vegetarian frozen meals can have high amounts of salt, potassium, and phosphorus. This is not good for people with kidney disease. Extra salt and preservatives are added to these meals to make them taste better and last longer. Too much potassium is also a problem because damaged kidneys cannot manage potassium levels well. However, eating a plant-based diet can be beneficial for kidney health. The potassium in fresh plants comes with fiber, which helps block its absorption. Always talk with your dietitian to choose the right plant-based diet for you. Frozen foods with added phosphorus can raise phosphorus levels in the blood, which could cause bone and heart issues in kidney patients. Therefore, it's best to avoid these meals if you have kidney concerns, especially if you eat them often. If you do choose frozen meals, pick ones with less sodium, potassium, and phosphorus by reading labels and selecting items with fewer processed ingredients. A better choice is to make homemade meals with fresh ingredients. This way, you can control what nutrients go into your food. Cook large batches of kidney-friendly meals and freeze individual portions for later. By focusing on fresh whole foods and careful meal planning, you can enjoy a kidney-friendly diet and reduce potential risks. 2. Soy Products Soy products can impact kidney health primarily due to their high content of phosphorus and potassium. In individuals with chronic kidney disease, CKD, the kidneys are less efficient at filtering out excess phosphorus from the blood. 
High levels of phosphorus can lead to hyperphosphatemia, which causes calcium to leach from the bones, weakening them, and can also lead to dangerous calcifications in the body, including in the kidneys, blood vessels, heart, and joints. Soybeans, tofu, soy milk, and other soy-based products contain significant amounts of organic phosphorus. Even though organic phosphorus from plant sources is less bioavailable than inorganic phosphorus, like that found in food additives, it can still accumulate in people with impaired kidney function. The kidneys regulate potassium levels in the blood. In CKD, the kidneys may not be able to excrete excess potassium efficiently, leading to hyperkalemia, high potassium levels. This condition is severe and can cause symptoms like muscle weakness, fatigue, and even life-threatening cardiac arrhythmias. Soy products, especially processed ones like tofu and soy milk, often contain high levels of potassium, posing a risk to those with compromised kidney function. The kidneys are responsible for filtering waste products from protein metabolism. While soy is a good source of plant-based protein, excessive intake can burden the kidneys, particularly in people with existing kidney issues. For those with CKD, it's crucial to balance protein intake to avoid accelerating the decline in kidney function. Soy contains isoflavones, which are phytoestrogens. While they have many positive health effects, their impact on kidney health is not fully understood, and some studies suggest they may influence kidney function when consumed in large amounts. For individuals with healthy kidneys, moderate soy consumption is generally safe and can be part of balanced diet. However, for those with CKD or other kidney concerns, it's vital to monitor and possibly limit intake of soy products to avoid exacerbating kidney issues. Always consult a healthcare provider for personalized dietary guidelines. 1. Chocolate bars or energy bars. Cocoa has good stuff like phenolic antioxidants and flavonoids that help your blood vessels work well. But be careful with chocolate bars. They have lots of bad fats and added sugar. These can cause high blood sugar, high blood pressure, and weight gain, which can lead to kidney disease. Chocolate bars and energy bars are also called ultra-processed foods, UPS. Eating lots of UPS can increase the risk of chronic kidney disease, CKD, and make it worse if you already have it. UPS usually have a lot of energy but not many nutrients. They also have additives that can harm your kidneys. Energy bars, which people eat to replace electrolytes lost during exercise, can be very bad for kidney health too. Like energy drinks, they have a lot of sugar for a quick boost. The mix of high sugar and other additives in energy bars can put a lot of stress on your kidneys. Eating them a lot can speed up kidney damage, so it's important to eat fewer of these processed bars. Instead, try eating fresh fruits and other healthy choices. Are your kidneys damaged? Healthy kidneys filter about half a cup of blood every minute. They remove waste and extra water to make urine. The urine then moves from the kidneys to the bladder through two thin tubes called ureters. One ureter is connected to each side of the bladder. The bladder acts like a storage container for urine. Together, the kidneys, ureters, and bladder form the urinary system. When your kidneys are damaged, waste and fluid gather in your body. Over time, this can lead to kidney disease and kidney failure. Kidney failure can be either acute, short-term and reversible, or chronic, long-term, and gets worse over time. Symptoms of kidney damage may include nausea, vomiting, feeling tired, trouble sleeping, changes in urination, trouble thinking clearly, muscle cramps, swollen feet and ankles, itchy skin, and high blood pressure. These symptoms might not show up until the kidneys are badly damaged, because kidneys can keep working even when they are partly damaged. Kidney problems can also cause anemia, a lack of red blood cells, and problems with bones and minerals, such as hyperkalemia, high potassium levels, which can be very dangerous. Additionally, kidney failure can increase the risk of heart disease or stroke. Without treatment, kidney failure leads to death. Doctors check kidney function using markers like creatinine levels, glomerular filtration rate, GFR, and protein in urine. Newer markers, such as kidney injury molecule and neutrophil gelatinase-associated lipocalin, help detect kidney damage early. Kidney disease can be triggered by high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and high cholesterol levels. High blood pressure can harm the kidney's filtering units by exerting extra force. High blood sugar from diabetes can damage tiny blood vessels in the kidneys, affecting the filters. 
Furthermore, cholesterol can form plaques in artery walls, blocking blood flow to the kidneys and causing protein to leak into the urine. Other illnesses and environmental factors can also damage the kidneys. Obesity raises the risk of chronic kidney disease, CKD, by lowering urine pH, causing ongoing inflammation, and disrupting fat metabolism. Obesity also worsens high blood pressure, insulin resistance, and glucose intolerance, increasing the risk of CKD. While many factors like diabetes and high blood pressure can cause CKD, diet choices are very important too. This video explains which plant-based foods to avoid and why it's important to choose less processed options. All these foods share one thing, they're processed. From seed oils to flavored instant oatmeal, many processed foods have additives that can harm your kidneys. For healthy kidneys, switch high-sodium condiments like ketchup with homemade sauces using fresh herbs. Eat antioxidant-rich fruits and vegetables, lean proteins with less saturated fat, and drink water to stay hydrated. By focusing on whole, nutrient-rich foods and avoiding processed ones, you can protect your kidneys and prevent existing kidney issues from getting worse. Always talk to a healthcare professional if you have kidney problems. Your doctor and dietitian can give you personalized advice to help you eat right and keep your kidneys healthy. We want to say a huge thank you to all our subscribers and viewers. Your support motivates us to keep creating helpful content. Click the bell icon and turn on all notifications to ensure you never miss an important video. Stay informed and stay healthy.